Hi, my name is David Wallowidnik here at BC Liquor. This is the year of the dragon. To celebrate, I created a cocktail called Dragon Eyes. You can see it right here, featuring dragon fruit, of course. The white dragon fruit you see here has a beautiful scaly-like look on the outside skin, almost like the petals or scales of a dragon. And on the inside, the white flesh or red flesh. The red flesh dragon fruit has the same flavor profile, but a beautiful, rich crimson color. You can also find yellow dragon fruit as well. Whichever you find, you can yield the same tasting results when making this cocktail. It's a really easy cocktail to make, and we're going to use some spirits from Asia. A little shochu, which is made similar to vodka, but at a much lower alcohol percentage. And this one's flavored with green grapes. This is a Japanese made vodka made from white rice and then filtered through bamboo charcoal. Let's get at it. Let's start by taking a cocktail shaker and adding in roughly four or five one centimeter cubes of dragon fruit. Now this is a nice, soft, ripe dragon fruit. So the action of shaking will, will break up that dragon fruit and I won't need to muddle it. If your dragon fruit is a little more firm, then you can get a muddler and help to break it up. Now to that, let's take the Haku vodka and measure one ounce, which is 30 mils of that Haku vodka. The same amount of the shochu. The green grape shochu, we're gonna use 30 mils, which is one ounce. And to give it a little bit more flavor and excitement, a hibiscus cordial or syrup using two parts sugar and one part a strongly steeped hibiscus tea. We don't need a lot of this, about half an ounce. It will yield quite a bit of flavor just with that small amount and both texturally um, and a little bit of sweetness there that will be balanced out with some lemon juice. About three quarters of an ounce, which is 22 mils. So a little bit more of the lemon juice than you'll find it with that hibiscus cordial. And I do so because I want this to be balanced just a little bit to the tart side. Once we add a little bit of ice, we'll give this a nice firm shake, which will break up that dragon fruit and combine all of those rich flavors together. Okay, let's give it a nice firm shake. All right, now we're going to strain that into this Collins glass. I'll grab a Hawthorne strainer and a fine strainer because we don't want all of those little seeds to come through. And this strainer will happily hold all those back. Here's a little tip. If you find that the pulp is um, holding back the liquid, grab a spoon and just move it around in your strainer. You see how it's automatically coming through? There we go, that's much easier. Then we can put that aside. Now let's add a little bit of ice. Now the first ice cube, tilt the glass on the side and ease it in there. That way it's not gonna splash up at you. The next cubes, as you can see, you can just drop right in. Let's add enough ice to nearly fill the glass, leaving just a little bit of space for some soda water at the end. Oops. Get rid of that one off the side. And there we go. Look at that great color, hey? I love that beautiful rich color. Now I'm gonna grab another spoon and just hold it back because I'd like to pour liquid into liquid if at all possible. Otherwise you end up losing quite a bit of that carbonation if it hits a flat surface. Give a little stir to combine. Wow, doesn't that look great? Such a rich, beautiful color. And last but not least, let's take and make a beautiful little skewer 
of dragon fruit. Let's alternate these, doing maybe one white and then a red one. And another white one. Let's do another red one again. You get the picture. Doesn't that look great? And that, my friends, is the Dragon Eyes Cocktail. My name is David, here at BC Liquor. I look forward to seeing you again real soon.